are ways of showing support for American troops in the Middle East, from tying yellow ribbons to trees to flying the American flag. As Mike Kelly tells us, though, one Illinois man has picked an unusual way to show his patriotism. It's a printing press of a different kind. Although the words and images come across just as clearly as any other medium, but then, you see, this is toilet paper. We can literally print anything on toilet paper. Whatever the individual retailer or wholesaler wants, that's what we produce. That's what our specialty is. It all started five years ago when Carlberg was told you just can't print on toilet paper. But he perfected the art form, and now, where they once printed newspapers, they now do toilet paper. 2,500 rolls a day and over 1,500 designs. Of course, what's hot now is Saddam Hussein. Just in the first week since Labor Day, we've, we've shipped about 5,000 rolls, and I'm probably behind that many right now. It's only been two weeks since they began the Hussein paper, but the orders just won't stop. It, uh, it's happened before with Gaddafi, and it's happened with Bush and Reagan and Quayle and things like that. So just whatever the topic of the day is, is what sells best. Now, while we know that toilet paper isn't exactly army regulation, it's not known how much of this stuff has made its way to the Middle East. But then again, it's never too early to start your Christmas shopping list. Mike Kelly, Roseville, Illinois. Rush just, right out and get some of that stuff, Doug. <laughs> just kind of knew Saddam Hussein was going down the toilet sooner or later, didn't you? <laughs> Good one. On that note, we leave you on this Friday night. Thanks for being with us. I'm Melanie Hastings. And I'm Doug Rafferty. For all of us here at the 10 o'clock news, have a good, safe weekend. Join us again here Monday night at 10 o'clock. Good night.